Angelic minds, they say, by simple intelligence, behold the forms of nature. They discern unerringly the archetypes, all the verities which mortals lack or indirectly learn. Transparent and primordial truth unvarying, pure earthness and right stonehood from their clear high eminence are seen. Unveiled, the seminal huge principles appear. The treeness of the tree they know, the meaning of arboreal life, how from earth's salty lap the solar beam uplifts it, all the holiness enacted by leaves fall and rising sap. But never an angel knows a knife-edged severance of sun from shadow where the trees begin, the blessed cool at every pore caressing us. An angel has no skin. They see the form of air, but mortals breathing it drink the whole summer down into the breast. The lavish pinks, the field new mound, the ravishing sea smells, the wood fire smoke that whispers, rest. The tremor on the rippled pool of memory that from each smell in widening circles goes, the pleasure and the pain, can angels measure it? An angel has no nose. The nourishing of life and how it flourishes on death and why they utterly know, but not the hillborn earthly spring, the dark cold bilberries, the ripe peach from the southern wall still hot, the full-bellied tankards foamy topped, the delicate half-lyric lamb, a new low spillowy curves, nor porridge, nor the tingling taste of oranges, an angel has no nerves. Far richer they, I know the senses which regards us like air, from heavens too big to see, imminent death to man, that barb sublimity, and dazzling edge of beauty unsheathed would be, yet here, within this tiny charmed interior, this parlor of the brain, their maker shares with living men some secrets and privacy forever ours, not theirs.